Welcome to FOMO Consulting for your daily AMC stock analysis video on Friday, June 18th. Ladies and gentlemen, we won. We won the day. We won the week. And as always, the apes are winning, the diamond hands are winning, and the retail investors winning. So if you find this video informative and entertaining, please like, share, certainly comment, and most importantly, subscribe. It is a newer channel, and I would appreciate the support. Let's get into the video. Thank you, as always, to everyone who has liked, shared, commented, and subscribed. It means the absolute world to me. Thank you. Start with a quote. In war, there is no substitute for victory. General Douglas MacArthur. Those words are very, very true. We won the week. We won the day. And I'll show you very shortly how. So overall, let's look at the broader market. The broader market played a huge, huge, huge role uh, in AMC's performance today. As you can see, the Dow is was down 533 points today. S&P down 55 points. NASDAQ down 130 points, and the Russell 2000 was down 49 points. It's an absolute bloodbath. I was actually watching uh, the news early this morning pre-market. Uh, the Fed president in St. Louis came out very hawkishly, uh, brought up yet again the in interest rate uh, potential increase at the end of 2020. And the Dow futures absolutely sunk from that point forward. And no doubt, uh, quad witching also had a major influence today. But as you can see, the absolute broader market was a bloodbath. Let's look at crypto. Crypto was not exempt from the fallout today. Uh, pretty rough day in the crypto world. Uh, Bitcoin, Doge, Ethereum, Litecoin all took uh, around 5% hits uh, each and every one. So just a bad day overall in the broader market. The German apes did exceptionally well. They had a positive day today, $51.62, uh, up 1.33%. Well done, German apes. We rely on you early in the morning to get the day started right. Well done. So let's look how AMC did today. Overall, I think we did fantastically, no doubt. Uh, the shorts took advantage of the situation today, uh, no doubt with the uh, broader market sell-off, uh, the weakness in the general market. Uh, they certainly took advantage when they could, as you can see. But overall, they pressed the RSI down uh, towards the latter half of the day. As you can see, we got into oversold territory uh, several times. They did their absolute best to press down the apes. We were not having it. We rebounded around. 315 or so and we shot right back up and fought for that $60 level uh, we did exceptionally well versus the broader market we closed at $59.26 down $1.45 or a measly 2.39 percent we are slightly up after hours and I think that is very very bullish going into Monday we're not having the massive sell-offs like uh, some of the other uh, stocks going on right now Overall, I could not personally be more pleased in our performance today. I think we held the line, consolidation, and found a new support level around that 60. We just keep inching up ever so slightly. As you can see, how AMC performed against the Russell 2000 chart nearly mirrored it to a T. Uh, we certainly felt the pull uh, from all the selling pressure throughout the broader market, specifically the Russell. So again, I think we did fantastically. But as you can see, we were certainly the most active, even on a down day, at least second. Uh, we did very, very well, even on quad witching volume stayed up, which shows a lot of interest. I, again, am very pleased. And as always, we are the most popular at 11.10%. We are up, ladies and gentlemen, this week, 11.24%. That was our close. Uh, we did fantastically this week. And for the month of June thus far, we are up 104.5% in June. I'll take that every month of the year. And more importantly, going into uh, the weekend, going into next week, we are not selling off. We are consolidating. We are holding after hours. Uh, slight increase. So again, this shows diamond handing. This is not paper hands. 
uh, everyone is buying and holding and uh, staying true to the word. So let's look how we did a uh, bigger picture on the 10 minute chart. As you can see, we are clearly on an uptrend without a doubt. We need to break that $64, $65 level. I believe we will do so next week. As you can see, we are uh, in somewhat of an illustrated wedge pattern, certainly not technical analysis, but it's very clear that $64, $65 level is a ceiling we're going to have to break, but we're increasingly squeezing it upwards, as you can see. And I believe we will rock it upwards next week and break it. So again, a closer look. This is the app, the trading week this week on the 15 minute. As you can see, we touched that $64 level uh, at least 10 times. Uh, wicked up, got shot down uh, with it being quad witching and the massive amount of options this week. Uh, they were not going to let it get past that. They spent a ton of money keeping it suppressed, uh, but we certainly did well closing. Uh, where we did finishing off the week strong uh, the power hour i think went fantastically we certainly showed a lot of strength and did not uh, allow it to sell off further so again i believe now we own the 50 dollars level without a doubt we need to break the 64 65 dollar level we break that we quickly go to 70 70 i believe is the point of no return and then we launch as you can see on the four hour chart, clearly, I think it's fantastically set up for next week. Uh, we got the RSI cooled off. We're back into the channel. MACD is uh, cooled off. We're running a little more neutral. We're still on the bullish side of things and the alligator is ready to eat. Again, MACD, as you can see, got cooled off this week. Uh, I think it's a great thing. The RSI has cooled off. We are back in the channel and we are ready for yet another bullish run. And I believe that will start on Monday. So this is most important. We have been stair stepping our way week after week since late May. And now we are there. We have been increasingly putting pressure upwards. And I believe we will do so yet again next week. Next week could be the week with pops. Let's look at GME. I think under the circumstances with the heavy selling pressure throughout the market, quad witching, uh, GME performed admirably and very well. It certainly had a lot of fight in it in the second half of the day. But as you can see, it had uh, a pretty hard sell off. Uh, no doubt there was a lot of uh, day traders certainly options were in play uh, but it certainly fought the good fight and i believe it will recover in short order let's look at the short interest data uh, shares on loan have gone up uh, substantially utilization is going up i believe by monday or tuesday we'll be back at 100 percent and at that point the cost to borrow fee will skyrocket uh, again there is a lag in this information by a day or two uh, our volume today was 242 million. We have 12 short only uh, institutional buyers, at least 13F uh, filers. Again, I believe we're going to get at least a couple to start cracking and possibly next week and bailing out. All we need is one or two. Uh, they're not all Citadel. They're not all Melvin. They Some have uh, less funds than others less risk tolerant than others and i believe we get one or two to break and start covering it will cause a chain reaction that is just my personal belief short shares available uh 350 000 at the time of this recording short interest was down a bit but they did certainly had they had about two million shares left over from yesterday and they certainly use them today at opportune times during the sell-off but i am not concerned whatsoever again everything fundamentally is still in order Here's the uh, short interest trend data. As you can see, short, uh, short interest is continuing to climb yet again as the price increases. Uh, but again, there is a divergence building. As you can see, I believe the higher the price goes and we have a divergence, we will have yet another pop. 
So let's look at the options. So we closed at 59, putting those contracts in the money. That put 411,790 calls in the money. Uh, certainly a very, very important level. The most I've personally seen as I've been invested with AMC. Uh, probably the same for you. I believe this sets us up very, very bullishly for Monday and Tuesday of next week. Uh, again, next week I think is probably more critical than, than this week. And just as a reminder, oh, since the first week of April, our average gains on Mondays have been 7.86% to the positive. Five of 10 uh, first day of the week trading has been 13% or better. Uh, so five of 10 have been 13% or better. So again, I'm very, very bullish going into Monday. As you can see, the call put ratio clearly uh, bullish, but there's a lot of big money, uh, strangely, at the $70 and $65 put level. Again, I believe they're setting themselves up to ride this down as after we pop, but I truly believe we will be breaking, if not attacking, that $70 level next week uh, repeatedly and likely break it. That is just my feeling. So as you can see, the volume has really picked up for next week's options. Call volume, 245,000. Uh, the call open interest outweighs the puts for next week. Uh, I believe, again, shows a lot of interest in the stock, a lot of big money still engaged in investing. Uh, and I believe that call volume will continue to pick up on Monday. So this is next week's call options. As you can see, there's a... Uh, Pretty good bit of open interest at the $60 level, which will no doubt be a fight. I believe we'll attack that early in the week. 65, we have, right now you have a, over 11,000 in open interest. And at the $70 strike, you have nearly 13,000. No doubt this will pick up on Monday, but you can certainly see uh, the battle line starting to form. And again, I believe that $70 level will be the new, uh, the new battleground. Always fun to look at. Nothing fundamentally has terribly changed. Certainly very bullish. And as always, I have skin in the game. I bled a little today, but 2% down on a 11% up week. Uh, a broader market, uh, broader market heavy sell-off. I'm not concerned whatsoever. We're clearly uh, holding the line after hours. Everyone is diamond handy going into Monday. Let's close with a quote, better to fight for something than to live for nothing. We are certainly fighting each and every day with AMC stock, and we are winning, ladies and gentlemen. Make no mistake about it. So as always, I want to thank you for watching. If you found the video informative and entertaining, please like, share, certainly comment, and most importantly, subscribe. It's a newer channel, and I would appreciate your support. And as always, I hope your life is full of green candles. Have a great weekend, everyone. I'll talk to you soon. Take care.